Hi everyone, this video lesson is a 21st century after school session for Jamestown Public Schools. My name is Miss Karen and today we're going to be working with Skittles, as you can see down there. And we're going to be learning about probability using Skittles. So the supplies, if you want to do this with me, are going to be some Skittles. I just had like three little packets like this. Or you can use one big packet or you don't have to use Skittles, you can use m&ms or starburst or anything that you have a good number of i would say more than 10 and then it has to have a few different colors so i would also grab a marker and a piece of paper so what we're doing with this piece of paper marker is just listing with some space the colors obviously skittles has five different colors in it so i wrote down one or each of the colors and then what we're gonna do and I'll show you with my camera, is we're just going to kind of make a box and draw these so that each box can hold the M&Ms. So let me draw my box really quick and I'll give you a second to write down yours if you're playing along. And it doesn't have to be perfect boxes. Mine are kind of goofy looking. Here's what I have in the end. Okay, and then my pile of Skittles. So, let me just double check if you can see. So hopefully with this, you can see that for like this, this is orange, we're gonna put an orange, whoops. And for this is yellow, put it down here. And I'm gonna separate mine and you can get yours separated. Now, as we do this, try and get it done as fast as possible. This can be for anyone too, really quickly. I just want to mention that if you have a younger kid in like elementary, you can start doing this. They're going to love it because candy's involved and it doesn't seem like they're actually learning math, but it's actually a really good tool and you really need to know probability by the time you're in middle school and high school. So this is really good to get a head start on and it's easy enough. So I'm almost done here. Hopefully you are too. I lost one of mine, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So now that you're all separated, hopefully it looks kind of like this if you're using Skittles or something along these lines. So now I want you to take a minute and count of all of your colors. I want you to count all of the red and put a little tally in your box. All of the orange or whatever colors and put a little tally. When you do that really quickly. So my numbers are 9, 7, 7, 11, 10. So they're probably going to be all different, but not too far away. Hopefully this is done. So now I'm going to move on to the next part. So looking at these numbers, before we really get into doing the probability, so we want to look at some of the terms. So if you look at the range of your numbers, that's the lowest number to the highest. So for me, mine would be 7 to 11. 7 is my smallest number, even though there's two 7s. Seven. 7 is the smallest. And it goes up to 11. And then the average is what you would do if you added all of your numbers up. And then you would divide by 5 or however many different colors you have. So I have 5 colors. And if I added all of mine together, I would get 34. So I want you to write, add all of yours up and get your tally of how many total you have. So then you would take that total number and you would divide it by however many colors you have. So I have five different, so I would do 34 divided by five and I would get about seven or so. So that would be like my average number. I mean, around eight, it'd be like between seven and eight. So hopefully you got your numbers. I'll give you another second. Make sure you have your total, your all total, and then each color total. And make a note of it. Okay, 
So now what we're going to get into is the probability of choosing one of these colors. So if I have 10 yellows right here, then my probability of getting a yellow instead of an orange, which I only have seven of, would be greater because I have more possible yellows to choose from. So with the yellow, if I were to reach my hand in the bag and all of these were in a big bag or a hat or something like that, and I reached in and I grabbed one, the odds of getting yellow over any other color, the red, orange, green, or purple, are 10 out of 34. So I reach in and I grab a yellow. Now we're gonna put this yellow to the side. Now I'll show you Now I'm going to cross off that 10. Now we only have nine. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to bring it back. And now that we only have nine yellow, now the total is 33. So if I reach back in and then I pull out a purple. Now, the same thing. Now this choice, this one right here was 11 out of 33. But now that we pulled this, we're gonna put this one to the side also. We cross off that 11 and we make it a 10. Because each time we pull one out, we're making one less. So we just take away one. And then we go back up to the total because again, we're taking out one more. So there's always gonna be one less every time we pull one out. So now there's 30 two in total and only 10 purple so you can keep on going with that and you can keep on seeing all the fractions you can keep a tally of all those fractions and just knowing that you have to subtract one each time or if you pull one out and you immediately put it back in none of the choices none of the numbers change it's always going to be 34 is your total and then whatever number of each color it's never going to change so make sure when you do this at home or when you do this in a class or whenever, if you're learning for this for the first time, just remember to read the instructions. See if you're going to put the item back in or take it out. If it's back in, remember, you don't change the numbers. And if you take it out, you do change numbers. You subtract one from the color and you subtract one from the total. Now, hopefully remember, um, remember your terms. Hopefully you remember the point of this video and hopefully when you do learn this or when you go back to school, hopefully next year in September, hopefully you remember this and you can get through that class. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Let Striders know. I'll be glad to help you. Thank you guys. Have a great day.